it's exciting. Yeah, I don't I don't actually know a whole lot about um, Nebraska. We have had a couple of common opponents, but they were early enough in the year, or they played Wyoming maybe right after us, so we didn't scout them. And then San Diego so early that by the time we get to San Diego, we're watching more recent games. Um, so it'll be nice to go to those games just in C style-wise. But um, they shoot a ton of threes. They're really good at it. They're in top 20 or top 25 in three-point percentage um, as a team on a high, high volume. So um, just based on the stat sheet, that's going to be something that we have to do. Good rebounding team. Um, they play in a tough conference um, and have done well. So, um, you know, on limited knowledge, just be, because we didn't run into them a whole lot um, in scout games, I am excited about it. Uh, we've never been a nine seed, and I've been here for all the NCAA tournament teams except for that one year that I was away, which was our first year, and we weren't a nine then either. So I think it shows some respect for our um, – just our, our body of work and who we played and how we played them and what our numbers have to say. And hopefully we'll be able to go out and be successful. Were you surprised by the nine? I was, actually. As, as it went on, I, I thought for sure we were going to play Oregon um, in whatever matchup that was going to be because I know that in the it seems to be. I don't know if they're – what you say? Well, or an 11 or a 7-10 or, you know, I didn't – Oregon was unsure. But they I know that in the past they've moved you a seed line to try to make something that makes sense and they love the storylines it seems like year after year if there's a storyline that they can play up then the, um, the committee does that when applicable and obviously there's a storyline there so um i i was a, maybe a little bit surprised that we were where we were um just based on history to be honest with you you, you know jim i haven't spent a whole lot of time focusing on any of it uh, this year more than any I've just been trying to coach our team the best I can and help them to have success and and so maybe if I would have looked a little bit deeper then I would have thought mm, maybe we could be an a 8-9 spot. Thanks. Well, it does, honestly. I think if we don't win that game, we might be playing in the 11 play-in game. We could have been a 12. Um, who knows? Um, that was another – BYU and Utah, I think, are the top 25 net wins that we have. And, and to have one or uh, two makes a difference. Uh, we have several that are, we've played over there that didn't work out for us. And our practices have been great, actually. I just told our team today at the end of practice, sometimes when you don't know who you're playing for before the WCC tournament or before the NCAA tournament, you struggle a little bit, you lose focus. And I, I've i enjoyed the last few practices as much as I've enjoyed any practice with our team this year. They, they competed and um, they worked on getting better. We're still harping on them. We're one of those, and I know people take a different approach, but we still believe we can get better and make improvements. And today and yesterday they look like they were trying to do those just that and get better so they've been really fun to coach and I, I hope I get to keep coaching them for a while uh, I think it's more fun when you know you're in <laughs> when you're I don't know if it was our first year that we were not large and we were unsure I, I had gone through it as an assistant but you know, we didn't win the tournament. And so that first year they called us almost at the very end and it was brutal. And so this time, I think if we weren't, if we hadn't won that BYU game, then it would have felt a little bit more stressful, uh, just even though you think you're in. Um, but today, I think it was all in good fun. The players were, you know, Callie was pulling for Baton Rouge because she's from Louisiana originally. And I know the Trongs were pulling for Austin because they're from Texas. And I know Bree thought for sure someone had us playing in Ann Arbor at one point in some bracketology. And so Bree's, so I think it, obviously we ended up in any of those places, but that was more what it was, was, ah, oh, we're not in Baton Rouge. Oh, we're not in, in Austin. And so Bree was certain. So I think it was kind of fun for our players just, and, and a lot of new people who haven't got to do this. And even last year we did it in uh, Volker by ourselves spread out, you know, it's very different. So it's nice to have you guys all with us and our family and friends up there to, couldn't hear it, but, you know, to uh, play the game a little bit and just watch it unfold. It's been four years since you had, like, the normal selection. Well, three years ago, you knew who you were going to play because they got leagues. Right. And then two years ago, no tournament, and last year, virtual. So what was this like to actually have some sense of normalcy in this? It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's a big deal. And, um, you know, that, those are the kind of things. You do it for the games, but you also do it for so much more than that. And... As coaches, I can think back to each each big win or each big bad loss or each – I can pick that stuff apart. But I think as a player, when I think back on my playing days, I remember more stuff like that. 
in and more stuff like the WCC tournament travel. And I remember the, the trip to Europe and, you know, the fun things that I get to do with my teammates. And so I think for these guys, it's probably a lot of fun to sit up there and, and they'll remember they'll remember that. And as a coach, I love having the kids up there with the team and all of you in person and all of our families in person and all of our staff in person. And it, it just it feels like it's supposed to be. Um, so I'm really grateful that we're at that stage right now. Yeah, well, when she was a freshman, all we asked her to do was rebound and run. And her role has changed some. We're still really relying on her to rebound and run. Um, but now she's right there with our top four or five that are all kind of tied in a glut there for leading us in scoring. Um, she makes big plays. She's solid. Um, she, you know, she had a, a game winner this year, which is the first time she's done that here at Gonzaga, or the first time she's probably been on the floor when we needed that. Or one of those times, you know what I mean? So she certainly has improved tremendously as a player. And um, I think it's because she just shows up every day. And she knows this. We, we praise her for her, her show up and her effort and just for being consistent and steady. And that is an underrated characteristic. Um, not by coaches, but it doesn't always show up. It doesn't show up on the stat sheet how steady you are. And it doesn't show up how much energy you bring every day. Um, but I sure know that if there's been a day, which I don't know if she's ever missed a practice, but if there was one where she was out of practice, you would have felt it because um, she just is so solid. Um, and by saying so solid, it's it's like a huge compliment. You know what I mean? It, it's not just a, she's just steady. It's it's way more than that. So I'm thankful that we've got to coach her. We're still trying to convince her to stay for another year. So if any of you guys have any pull, I would appreciate it if you guys would um, call in a favor for me. Yeah. I'm super excited. Um, this is my first true like NCAA selection Sunday. Um, so I'm just super excited. And a nine seed, I was not expecting to be a nine seed. So I'm just over the moon right now. I'm just super excited. Oh, beating BYU definitely helped us a lot, I think. Um, and I think it gave our team a lot of more momentum going into the tournament as well. I think we played really great defense in that game. And I think it showed our team just what we're capable of. And I think that was just a great game to go into the NCAA tournament with. Super excited. I mean, now is when we can put all the prep in, you know, before you're always wondering, you see all the preseason polls, what people think you're going to be at, where people think the bracket's going to go. And I mean, it's great to wonder, but that doesn't really help us at all. So now that we know what's next, it's nice. It's ready to prep time. Like, I'm excited. We have a goal now. So, excited. Yeah, that was great. I mean... I always say I feel like we deserve a lot more than generally what the tournament puts us at. So seeing that seed come out felt great. I mean, I, like Lisa was saying, I think it might have been the highest that we've gotten. So just feel honored to have that and excited to see what's happen next. Um, I mean, that's a tough question. Uh, we haven't scouted this team yet, so I mean, it might change team to team. What success, What is successful with one team will not be the same with the other. So, I mean, just like looking up what this team likes to do, I know they're pretty great shooters. So, I mean, taking that away would be the first step. But after that, I think just the coaches will come up with a great game plan. And I think if we can stick to that, we'll be successful.